Hello, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS, and I'm a heavy bid trainer. And today I'm going to talk about some custom settings or some user specific settings that you can do in Tree View to kind of break up the monotony of the screen, especially if you're, you know, eight, 10 hours all day on the screen and you want to kind of break it up a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to, to uh, create these settings. And also, if you want to, you can copy them over to other people in your team. All right, first of all, let's come down here and look at our display settings right here. So I have a couple things set up. Let's go first look at activity. And I have one called here where I, it italicizes the activity and then also uh, gives me a text color. So let's just go and give you a little idea what this looks like. So you can see that it really breaks it up over here um, and distinguishes it from the activity, especially if you're uh, at a company where they don't have an activity code book and it's just 100.1. Obviously, that gets very monotonous and you're kind of like, OK, what's my activity? What's my bid item? So this is one way. This is the way that I call it out. Let's just go over. And let me just show you again how I did that. So I would go to new and then I call it this time. I'm going to call it activity two. And then I there's where I could do the act, the italicize. I could even highlight it. But really, I try not to turn this into a Christmas tree, highlighting a bunch of stuff. So what I usually do is I do a text color right there. So, you know, this is and then if you uh, come in here and you put OK. I'm going to go back and then I can always delete these too. Um, you know, that's one thing that you can do at the activity level. You can also have another one here. Let's do this and call it uh, maybe unreview. I've seen this a lot when I set up or I have at customers offices. And I'm going to go to unreviewed and I'm going to come down here and say, OK, I want that as yellow. OK, so if I come down here to the activity and it's unreviewed. You can see that it's not doing anything. OK, so what probably the issue is here is I come back into this display options. I come up, I click that. Do it again, and you can see now that it's working. So sometimes you have to play with the order. Otherwise, uh, you know, it doesn't. And let's see here. So if I come to here, okay, so that's working. You can see that my blue is working. Now it's unreviewed. The It goes back to the black. But it's still called out, which is, it's just not bad. Uh, now if I come in here and then click it back to unreviewed, OK, you notice that it goes back to the blue italicized. So a little bit, you have to play around with these settings a little bit and see what you like. I don't mind, you know, having the black again. I might can go ahead and let's go ahead back to the unreviewed. I'm going to uh, select my text color. I go back to blue italicized and let's see what it looks like now. So you can see I can still return it back to the italicized blue, but I got to define it back actually in the unreviewed right there. So this is a pretty cool feature because as you're you know going through this and you're like, oh yeah, I'm done, it will return it back to its previous setting right there. All right, so that's one thing you could do. Let's go back and look at the activity again. You got non-additives. You can also call that out. That's kind of handy because I kind of want those to jump out at me. Self-perform, if you have self-perform versus sub, it'll show you the self-perform activities. And then non-factable, probably not many people using that. So not that many settings here, but I think it does have a lot, you know, some good uses. Now let's jump up now and look at the bid item description. So, I mean, bid item um, tab. And you can see here that I have indirects. I have something called indirects. I did new and then indirects. I said, OK, if it's an indirect, I want it to have red text right here. Uh, so also, um, I don't know what that one was right there. 
But let's say I want to have, I want to call out all my items greater than, you know, $10,000. So I go to two and I say greater than $10,000 bid items. And this would be, I think if I just leave that blank, it'll get everything. And I'll say total cost greater than $10,000. And then I'll do a highlight and I'll say that's green. Okay, and there's my, so it's a lot of my probably maybe I, maybe I come back and I change that to, you know, $25,000. Yeah, a little less there. So you can play around with that, but that kind of gives you, you know, hey, these are the items that I really need to focus on uh, in the estimate, especially during review. All right, so just some of the things that you can do there. I can also have uh, a review required. All right, so this would be at the bid item level. And then I would come down here, review required. I would uh, maybe highlight it and I would call it aqua. Okay, and then when if this is selected, it's gonna come up and, and go ahead and highlight that for me. I do also know people, they, they like to bold their bid items. Uh, you know, so it's just personal preference. So you get a lot more settings at the bid item tab because I can also say, oh, show me highlight or give me a certain color text for bid items that are 100% sub. Uh, I can also do the total cost option I got, the, of course, the bid takeoff differences. That's probably a good one right there. Even if you don't use bid takeoff differences, just to call that out in case that does happen. So how would I do that? I would come in here and I would say new and I would say bid quantity, takeoff quantity, difference. And then I would come down here and I would say, just give me both. And then I'm going to come and maybe I'll just bolt it. All right. So you can see here that I got two of them. And yes, they are different right there. So if you had this set, now remember this is set per user. But if you had this set, you would instantly know, oh yeah, I got bid, bid uh, quantity, takeoff quantity differences. And maybe you have to go back and rectify that. Or it's just for your own information. So there's, you know, I think there's a lot of power right here. Uh, also alternates, if you are running alternates, uh, it can give you different colors for the alternates. Um, and of course the bid item type also. It's nice when, you know, calling out holding accounts and things like that. Now up here at this kind of upper th third, you got productivity categories. Now this changes it for everybody. All right, so you got to be careful with this. You might not even have rights to this. Uh, but for instance, uh, you know, maybe I don't use the man hours that much or I just get them on a query. So I might want to have my dollars per shift right there for my crew. That'd be crew, that'd be labor and equipment um, or labor dollars per man hour. Some of these other things that would be more informative that I want to see on the screen. Um, so also if you run an alternate description, okay, the regular description is not big enough at the bid item level. So you want to run the alternate that, you know, gives you a lot more text or a lot more width Then you know, you just have to have that in the alternate, uh, column in the bid item setup. And that's good for like the DOT, you know, that they have this super long, uh, descriptions. You can also show the client code. So the client code will appear up here instead of our over here on the left on the view side instead of the HSS bid item code. So a lot of, a lot of good things right here. And then down here in the bottom left there's user color preferences. So what is that? Let's go take a look. I'm going to go to user color preferences. Now what this is, is this get, is getting me to the tools, preferences. You notice it's user preferences and then colors. 
All right, and these are all the colors that I have set up. Let's take a look and just real quick before we before we see what the result. So I have it set up so that I have colors here on this little band next to the resource. And this has been out for a long time. I don't know, maybe eight, 10 years in heavy bid. Um, so it's been out a long time and you could just change. And this is user preferences here. So if you like something different than everybody else, you can set that. So let's go back, look at it. And a quick way to get to it is display options, user preference. And then what you do is you come in here and you select, and then don't select the color, but the name of the color over here. And they do have, if this is not enough, then they do have these custom colors over here. So now you notice I don't tag everything like uh, no tax material color. That's pretty new in heavy bid. I don't tax that. I mean, I don't um, color that. I don't color not in a quote folder, even though some people might. That's, that's pretty cool. And that is also fairly new. Um, and then when I have non-crew labor, non-crew inside equipment, non-crew outside equipment, doesn't happen that much. I don't put colors on that. But where I just put them all the same color. Um, so it's not that hard to do and, you know, just make it black, make all of these black so when it is outside of the crew, then it'll just have a little black uh, ribbon over there. So it's not required that you color all of these. Now you can also come up here to crew colors, modify crew color. I like to have it so that when a crew is modified, it'll, it'll put this in here in yellow. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and you know, you can also have colors for addendums. Uh, this would be for the DOT when you import in addendum, it will color code them for you. Uh, you're not going to see that on the tree view though. And then you got the overrun color and the underrun color there. So when I put OK and OK, OK, let's just go back and let's modify a crew. So I'm going to put two pieces there. And you can see, oh, not, I'm sorry, not the description, but actually just colors the code itself. Okay, and then under the description, I have that it has been modified. So it kind of calls it out. So I think there's a lot of good uses for that. Let's go back to it. So you can see it's under user preferences and colors. Uh, now I didn't cover everything in, in here, but also be sure that your disabled text color is set to probably to blue. Uh, you don't want it set to, you know, like real, real light gray. Uh, sometimes that occurs when you update from like an old version and it doesn't update it to that blue right there. It just is like a really, you know, eye scrunching type of light gray. You don't want that. So be sure it's something that's fairly, you know, dark. All right. Now you notice up here under user preferences um, that, well, and I am here, I'm going to switch out to a uh, multi-user system, but I can actually copy these settings out to other members of my team. So here I am in a multi-user system and you can see here under user preferences display, I got copy user preferences. So I click on that and I can copy from one user to another user. All right. So then, then you just have to do one at a time. You would be the one up here and this would be each member of your group, but it goes pretty quick. I think it works well. And then everybody's kind of on the same page there in the tree view. So uh, very useful there. So again, this is under tools, preferences, and then we have the color display right here. And these are all the settings that you can do. This would affect the tree view and a few other of the screens too. You know, colors for bid summary pricing screen and, um, you know, the, the disabled color text. So a lot of things can be set here that is customized per user. 
All right. Well, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS. I hope you enjoyed this video and, you know, make these little changes to heavy bid that just helps you, you know, every day uh, you get, uh, you know, these little visual helps and then makes, you know, the, you know, makes the estimating experience a little better in the tree view.